So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to do something that's kind of shameless. I'm gonna use it to actually make my YouTube video better. So I'm gonna ask it to give me 10 compelling YouTube titles that are SEO optimized for a YouTube video that's supposed to help people learn how to use ChatGPT for to build a better resume. So I'm actually working on this video right now. And what I'm gonna ask for, I'm just, I've done this before a bunch on the other models, GPT-3 and I guess 3.5, and I didn't even know I was doing that. So I'm looking at these titles and just off the cuff, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is uh, it's pretty cool. I think that this isn't exactly the full scope of what I'm trying to, uh, what, in, what I'm trying to do. Um, and I'm gonna ask you for 10 titles that kind of hit, I did. I should have described a little bit more. These are great titles, but I'm gonna say, I, I just wanna teach them how to use ChatGPT for, for this. And I'm gonna give it that minimal information as a kind of add-on prompt, and we're gonna see how it does. Cool, so I admitted this very simple prompt. And now, let's see. Yeah, I just said, hey, I want to focus on just how to use chat GPT-4 or GPT-4, right? I don't really know if it's GPT-4 or chat GPT-4. It's definitely GPT-4, but that's the algorithm. So let's see. Um, <laughs> let me see which one I like. So I like this one, so I'm gonna put it on my YouTube video and then I'm gonna ask it for a description. All right, so I'm gonna send this prompt real fast. Pretty simple, I'm just like, hey, give me a description for this. And I already off the bat don't like the um, the hashtags. I think GPT-4, that's, that's good. I'm gonna kinda just run with some of those. And uh, I think this is a little bit canned, but I'm maybe just gonna ask it like, hey, can you give me a kind of revision of this as a little bit more chill of a tone? Um, but I think the list is cool. Um, a little bit, a little bit stiff, but I'm gonna ask it. Um, uh, give me a more relax description. Use I not we, and these are some of the challenges with the old algorithm, actually. Um, so I think it's it's maybe thinking that I am like some sort of organization or something like that, not just a single person. Um, Let's just see if I tell it to do that. And then I wanna see what it does. And I'll take out the, uh, the title, but overall pretty good. I'm gonna say uh, GPT-4 is brand new. Nobody could have used it before today. And so maybe it will consider that and then make that. And that kind of comes with the um, sort of lack of connectedness to the internet that GPT-4 or just GPT has in general. If it was hooked into the internet fully, we would have a very different story here. And cool here, I mean, I didn't have to use uh, hardly any brain power to create this title and this description. And if you're watching this video, then you fell victim to the Google search algorithm liking this or whatever. And if you didn't, then I guess it didn't work that well. But uh, overall, this can save you a lot of time. And I did revise this and kind of change uh, what they did add to this. But this is kind of how I uh, how I came out with with information. So. Overall, definitely a super powerful tool for generating uh, all of the content for promoting um, and creating YouTube videos, titles, descriptions, um, you know, playlist titles, or anything that you could you could create on on YouTube. A top comment that you would pin, or any uh, post that you would make on your website to point back to your video, or anything like that all really easy to generate with this algorithm. And I think that the quality was pretty high, even though it was a little bit corny, but that's kind of to be, uh, I guess I can't uh, thumbs down this just for being corny, I guess I could, but overall pretty good.